Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming and welcome to AI Assisted Content Editing with Seek Editor 5 and OpenAI. I don't know if this is okay. So, uh, a little bit about myself. I'm uh, Raffaele. I'm a tech lead at Intu, a Drupal Italian company. And I work with Drupal since 2011. So, uh, I'm maintainer or co maintainer of different content modules and also, of course, uh, OpenAI uh, for the Seek Editor part. Let's introduce the agenda of this session. Uh, we're gonna have a first overview on the OpenAI module uh, that is available, already available in, on Drupal.org. And on the initial setup of the module, basically some, some easy step to set up the module. And then we're gonna deep dive into some, new, some use cases such as AI assisted content creation, basically uh, detect, detect of unsafe or safe content for uh, uh, using OpenAI, generating media uh, using the DALI-1 uh, uh, API, and uh, you can validate also the context uh, or uh, the syntax of your HTML uh, using OpenAI also, generating an SEO friendly content, basically some, some basic stuff to generate SEO compliant software. And then we're gonna talk about the roadmap of uh, this module. Okay, so uh, this is the page of, uh, of the module. Uh, the OpenAI module aims to provide a suite of modules. Uh, in OpenAI, uh, it can generate text, content, images, content, and also other stuff. Uh, basically, we're, uh, we're merging OpenAI Seek Editor, the, the module that you see on the bottom right of the screen. It was my module, basically. I've created this module and so, after that I created this model, I was contacted by Kevin Quillian. Kevin Quillian is the main maintainer of OpenAI. And then we decided to merge the effort to, to, to combine oh, my module, that is the one on the bottom right, CK Editor OpenAI, into OpenAI, basically. Uh, the goal is also to have an easy out-of-the-box experience for uh, the content editor, uh, also initial uh, users of Drupal, you basically have to enable the module, insert your OpenAI key, and features are available and uh, ready to use. So, this is the concept. Uh, here are some key points about the module. Uh, it uses Seek Editor 5 and Drupal API to integrate OpenAI into Seek Editor 5, basically the, the, the WYSIWYG of Drupal. Uh, just works out of the box. Uh, add assistive tools for different areas of the content editing process. Uh, first released in January uh, 2023, and the last release is an alpha. Uh, so it, it, it supports multiple OpenAI models, so you can choose uh, which models to, to use. Uh, the minimum requirement is PHP 8.1. So let's start with the practical stuff. And uh, we download and install the model like any other Drupal model. In this case, we enable uh, OpenAI content, content tools that it's uh, basically for moderation and other assistive tools. And of course, we enable the OpenAI Seek Editor integration. Uh, here you have a form to insert your OpenAI key from your account. Also, you need to get uh, to, for, from OpenAI the, the platform, it's on this key and uh, uh, it's your personal key or your company. Uh, after that you've inserted your OpenAI key, now you're able to configure, and of course enable the Seek Editor model, now you're able to configure a standard text format into Drupal uh, using the, the new features. You get the new button and you can drag uh, the button inside the active toolbar and save the form, and after this operation, you're able to use the, the OpenAI extension. You, you're ready to go. And let's start with a practical demo. I'll try to play the, the video. Okay. So, 
So this is basic uh, text compilation. We are in the body of an article content. We have already the, enabled the OpenAI SIG mo editor module, as you see. And we provide simple text to ChatGPT. basically. This is what we, we, we're trying to do. So I ask him the, the history of Italy in 70 words. So. Uh, here on the bottom, uh, you can see that it's waiting for the, the, the responses in Ajax, so you can see the loader and, oh, just, just let you see the end. And it provides us uh, the, the, the text, the, the completion API of ChatGPT. Uh, but you can also generate the, the content in bulk. Uh, via the completion API. If you want to create all the content you need, uh, maybe for testing purposes or for other stuff, you can use this bulk content generation tool. And you can choose the, the, the temperature, basically the creativity of OpenAI, and it will fill Drupal with your content. Oh, basically, okay. Here we go, uh, we choose content generation, we, we insert the subject. Here I insert always the, the subject of my city, Naples, always. And, uh, and choose uh, which field to uh, populate, basically. Choose, as I told before, the temperature, the number of nodes you want to generate, and then click on generate. And it generates our content. Uh, using the subject that we provided before. Uh, it uses batch API. So. Uh, here we go. Okay. Okay. And we see the content, generated content after this operation. Here is the uh, standard basic page of Drupal basically generated from, from OpenAI. Let's go, go, stop the video, okay. But we have also a devil generate integration. Um, we can uh, use this uh, in an automated pipeline, may maybe, because you can use this to, to generate content and execute automated tests on this content. So um, you, you got also a devil generate uh, integration. Uh, this is the output of the previous example on the body field and in, in the, the example field, basically. But, OpenAI can also analyze content and tell you what content policies it may violate. This could be a crucial feature to make content more inclusive, maybe. Uh, this is beneficial if your audience are certain demographics or sen sensitive to certain categories, maybe. And you can also think to use this API to validate in bulk your content. So, so if you got a pre-existing site and you want to check if the, con the, site, the, the content of the site violates certain policy, you can do this in bulk. Let's see an example. Okay. So here we, we analyze a content that doesn't contain violations and in ChatGPT tells us, uh, no, it's okay. Our test is okay. Uh, when I write, I hate something basically, uh, he detects a violation, a violation for the hate category. You can also, uh, you can also perform a content tra translation. In this case, uh, we display a pop-up in which you can search the destination language. We get the selection from Seek Editor and transform the text, basically. Let's see. Let's see, I want to translate this text in Italian, basically. Okay. Uh, 
and it's translated in Italian, I confirm. So, <laughs> okay. okay. And we can also reformat HTML. Uh, basically, uh, here we invoke also the completion API of uh, OpenAI. OpenAI, and we tell uh, fixes text to be marked with semantic HTML using uh, only lists, uh, headers, or paragraph tags, or we can give uh, to ChatGPT also another set of tags. In this case, it's only lists, header, and paragraphs. So it will get our HTML and transform it uh, to lists, header, and paragraphs. Okay, we should see a list. Waiting for response on the bottom, okay. And he corrected our text. Maybe he uses lists and all the tags that we gave him. Uh, we can also use, as I told before, uh, the DALI API to perform media generation. This is the DALI 1 version. And we can give, a, we, we can provide an input. And uh, basically, we, we choose the DALI API and provide the text to generate the image. And here is the city of Naples, also in Italy, so it will uh, uh, print an image of uh, Naples, so, <laughs> okay. And we can also provide a list of keywords to OpenAI, to always using the completion API. Uh, we can write a SEO compliant article with a set of keywords. And uh, in, in also in the language that you need, because this site is in Italian, and he writes also a SEO compliant article in, in the language of the site, because it integrates with the language of Drupal. So, if you choose SEO text generation, give him three words, basically. In, and D generates a SEO compliant article in the language and with the words that we need. It's, yeah, it's a complex article, so. We can uh, also generate summary and potential taxonomy terms for a content. Uh, to categorize the page, uh, for instance, we can suggest a SEO compliant title like in this case. And we already have a content here. We already have a content. We are asking OpenAI to suggest a, a content title in this case. It also speaks about Naples, so. And we can also uh, suggest the taxonomy categories. See, right, just a list of five taxonomy term. And we cre can create also a summary using the integration with uh, we open AI. This is a lo longer, longer farm summary. Just sweet. Okay, this is the summary that he generated. Uh, just a focus on the reengineering of the model. Um, we wanted to Drupalize it, so. We are trying to use the Drupal form API instead of the Seek Editor form API to create form because we are Drupal developers, so we want to create form with Drupal, not with uh, the JavaScript API. And uh, we are accelerating the process for other developers to create uh, other extensions. Uh, the, the OpenAI module has got also other features, basically log analysis, prompt, uh, also audio, and other stuff uh, external to Seek Editor, but the module is in constant development. Uh, also the roadmap, this is very important. We are providing an API, as I told you before, that will make it easier to extend OpenAI Seek Editor, so you don't need to write tons of JavaScript code to create another extension. And another idea that we got is to provide automatic, automatic accessibility suggestions to the, to the editor in the process. So it can analyze the content and make, oh, using OpenAI, oh, make this text more accessible using this tag instead of this, and stuff like that. 
So that's all. Thank you for listening. Okay. We have any questions? I'm here. Oh, so, yeah. Thanks for the talk. Uh, do you plan to integrate uh, things like um, buttons to the, if you generate the headline, for example, do you plan to integrate a button to send it to the title directly? Or right now it's a bit of copy paste things from the suggestions to your real fields? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it can be an improved uh, user experience improvement. Mm -hmm. So I agree. <laughs> I agree. Be great, yeah. yeah, it will be better. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the user experience is ongoing. Uh, we are just. No, no problem. I agree. Okay. Okay, hi. Uh, thank you for the presentation and your open source work. And I know nobody pays you to do that, or do they pay you? I don't know, but uh, it would be nice. Okay, so uh, I was thinking it would be nice to integrate with other LLMs, you know, like, I don't know, BART or uh, the meta thingy, you know, but uh, I wonder, all of these functionalities can be used with other LLMs, probably cheaper maybe or something like that, but the module is called OpenAI as well, but <laughs> that's a problem. But any plan to integrate with other LLMs? I mean, the major functionality is going to be the same if you use like Llama, for instance, you know, so it would be nice if there's a configuration page when you're setting your API key, you know, to select, okay, I'm using, for instance, BART instead of, uh, well, ChatGPT. Yeah, thank you. Also, another question is that I was wondering if uh, you have any plan to integrate with uh, Gutenberg, you know, editor? Uh, no? Yeah, no, 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 no plans? We will do it. We no. steal your code and do it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. So, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you.